Can you use Zoom on mobile? Yeah, you can. Really easy. I'm going to show you how to download Zoom on the iPhone and then how to join a meeting. You can even host your own meeting as well. So let me go into Chrome and I'll search for Zoom. There it is, Zoom. And then I click download. Now this is completely free. The page will open in another application. Let me open that. And I just hit that cloud pointing down, coming down from the cloud. Oh, I like that. Good icon. Go. And so this is downloading on the iPhone from the App Store, but if you are using Android, it will be much the same. Once I download Zoom, there we are. I can open it. Click on Open there. And at this point, I could join a meeting, which is usually what you want to do on the mobile phone. So to do that, you need to know the meeting ID and you click on join a meeting. And then you type in your meeting ID, whatever that is. That, okay, whatever the meeting ID is, and then you click join. Very easy. I'm gonna hit cancel there. What if you actually want to start your own meeting? You can do that as well. So you need to sign up to Zoom and to do that, you've got to put in your, make sure you put in your date of birth. This is really just to, to make sure that you are old enough to be using Zoom. And once you've signed up, which you only do once, you can then sign in to your Zoom account. For the first time, I'm going to get a few pop-ups, uh, which are really permission things, security things that Zoom is asking me. So number one, would you like Zoom to send you those annoying notifications? Now it doesn't say annoying. I'm going to say no, but those are those pop-ups that keep yeah, interrupting your day. Don't allow. Uh, what about, would you like Zoom to access your calendar? And that makes it really easy to schedule meetings. And once again, I'm going to say don't allow, but if you do allow that, then you can set a meeting in Zoom and it will just turn up on your calendar, which is which is pretty nice. And what about the touch ID? You know, where you can do this, touch it with your finger, and I'm gonna say, no, I don't want that either. And here I am in Zoom, and I can select to join an existing meeting. I can set a new meeting, which I'll do in a moment. I can schedule a meeting. Or I could even have a meeting which is just me sharing the screen without me being on camera. I'm actually going to go in and select new meeting. Do I want the video on? Yes or no. Now, so sometimes when you're out and about on mobile, you want to turn off your video. And I'm going to start the meeting with the video on. And it, well, Zoom says, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Can I access your camera? And I'm going to say, yeah, okay, that's fine. And then, well, what about the microphone? Zoom would like to access the microphone, and I'll say, yes, that's okay as well. And here I am on that Zoom meeting. Now, to hear others, please join the audio. So I'm going to click Wi-Fi or cellular data. So there I am. Now, at this point, if I'm in a meeting, and if I'm out and about, I probably want to stop my video. So I'm going to click Stop Video. And when I do that, my Zoom profile picture will show up. If you want to know how to change your profile picture on the laptop, on your desktop, then check out this video here. And also, if you want to mute yourself when you're in a Zoom meeting, maybe you've got some background noise, then you can just do that by clicking on the mute button there. And you can unmute yourself to start talking again. If you want to share your meeting ID from the meeting that you have started, then if I click on this Zoom button, see the little download at the top, the little arrow down, the drop down, and then that's got all of the details of the Zoom meeting, the meeting ID, and the passcode. And now I can I can send the invitation, I can share content, so this is how I share my screen. Uh, or I can go into more, see the more down the bottom there, the three dots. And there you've got some, some other options there, such as raising your hand emojis and all of that sort of stuff. And the chat. And now if I click end here, 
then that will allow me either to leave the meeting if it's somebody else's meeting uh, or end the meeting if I'm the host. And last thing it asks is, do you want this to be activated through Siri? This is on the iPhone so that Siri can, so I can say to Siri, hey, start a Zoom meeting. And I'm going to say, no, don't, don't allow that. So those are your options. Now I'm going to sign out there because we're done. So I've finished the meeting, but that's it. All free to for you to sign up for Zoom and to have a meeting of unlimited time if it's just two of you on the meeting or a limit of 40 minutes for free if there are more than two of you or more than two devices joining the meeting.